What's up everybody, it's Jones or your favorite comic book guy here. I've got another one of these Masters of the Universe Origins unboxing. Today we're going to do Fisto, the heroic hand-to-hand -hand fighter. What a hand he's got, huh? Let's do this. What's up, everybody? It's Jones, or your favorite comic book guy. So let's do this. All right, we've been showing our love for the Masterverse uh, collection, you know, but Origins is kind of where we got this all started. Origins and comic books. You know, this, this channel's gone in a lot of different directions, you know, and I, I want to keep the spirit of it going. We're going to keep doing comics. We're going to keep doing Masters of the Universe toys, but we're going to step into some other directions too, you know, going forward. Eventually, I'm going to run out of these to open, you know, and I'm going to have to do something else. So I was thinking, you know, getting into some old school Nintendo games, playing a little drums, you know, um, doing some different stuff that I'm into, you know, and I just want to continue to share my hobbies. So anyways, we'll get this box here and it's just like always, you know, Masters of the Universe blister card, Fisto, heroic hand-to-hand -hand fighter, modern posing, retro play. Um, Fisto looks pretty cool here in the box. You know, I mean, he looks uh, just like he, you know, always did. Um, this character was pretty special to me. I got him for Christmas at my grandmother's house and I remember, you know, very clearly having the toy kind of before any of the other kids in my neighborhood did. So it made me kind of feel special, you know, that I had something ahead of everybody else. So, you know, that was, that was pretty cool. I, it was neat to see the older kids come around and, you know, want to see, hey, you got that new Fisto, that's awesome. So pretty cool stuff, a little memory from my childhood. Anyway, we'll flip this box around here and you know, on the back, we've got this awesome uh, box art like we always do. You know, the rugged fighter with his metal fist. Fisto uses his incredible strength to protect Eternia's enchanted forest. You know, and he's got a battle going on here with Jitsu, who was, uh, I believe, Fisto's enemy. And he had kind of a similar power, if you can call it that. He had an oversized fist he used for the karate jump. Whereas Fisto's was, you know, obviously made for punching. Um, looks like they got the cool little enchanted forest here. There's some kind of castle in the background. It looks like some other kind of play set. Um, I'm not really sure what that is. If someone wants to hit me in the comments and let me know what I'm looking at there. And then, of course, we got Strider here, which was kind of Fisto's uh, mode of transportation. Or, you know, it, it always seemed like he preferred Strider. You know, um... Anyway, we scroll down here and we've got the action features where it shows the sword fitting into the hand and you can twist them into powerful battle positions. And we got the cross cell here on the side, which I've got all of these figures with the exception of the updated look on Evil In. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get that or not. And uh, of course, we've got the updated uh, Merman, which we'll be opening later. But um, yeah, this though. Let's open them up. All right, we got our Origins Fisto out of the box and he's looking snazzy. I've got him in a pretty awesome battle pose with his big fist ready to come right into your living rooms. Um, I'd have to say that the, uh, you know, he looks about like he should, you know, he's got that nostalgia feels to him. And uh, the one thing I noticed with my Fisto is uh, his head seems to be very loose compared to the other parts but uh you know he can still go into any pose that i want him to go into and uh yeah he looks pretty much just like his uh his vintage brother here so uh first thing you kind of pops out to you is the uh, origins fisto's got the brighter colors but i mean it's pretty much the same scheme you know i mean the armor is the same design the 
sword's the same design, the boots are the same color, you know, the beard and everything. He's just, it, it got some of the lighter colors with the Origins one, and they can go into the really cool poses that the Vintage one, you know, is very limited with, I think it's only five points of articulation, but there is one thing that this Vintage Fisto can do that this new Fisto cannot, and that is this. If you pull back this arm, bam, he can right into your living rooms. And as most Vintage He-Mans, if you pull the waist, does a power punch so as far as uh, posability and maneuverability um, we got to give it to origins fisto but vintage fisto can do this Whack! that's right hey that fisto jitsu will make you pay for you being a hero and such a good guy and such uh, you know what? I got a big old fist and uh, you don't. Bam! That's right. So, Jitsu is another character Origins has not done yet that uh, I hope they do. Um, I think we've got the armor, maybe, in that Masters of the Universe wave. Maybe not. If they do uh, work the armor out, they will have the... Uh, um, King Randor armor, which would be needed. And uh, I think the sword's been done, you know, with Ninja, or at least it's very similar to the Ninja or sword. Um, and yeah, just like Vintage Fisto, um, Vintage Jitsu can karate chop. Yes, that is right. Now, Jitsu is probably a bit of a controversial character in the sense that people have called it racist you know or whatnot because of the name jitsu you know but i mean i don't know it's like do, do you want people of other creeds and colors to be represented or not and then when they are represented you're gonna bellyache and cry because oh well, don't represent them like that it's like you know i mean and i get it because like i remember like joe jitsu from the dick tracy show whom i always enjoyed but uh, people saw joe jitsu with the uh buck teeth and the you know what I mean? And I, I can see where that'd be offensive. But, you know, I also can remember every time Joe Jitsu got in a fight, he whooped everyone's ass in the room with a handshake. So there was also that. Another thing I'd like to show off and call out here is if you've got a vintage Strider, your Origins Fisto will fit in there beautifully. Um, it will be cool if Origins makes a Strider, as we could use some articulation with these stiff legs, and he's a cool figure. But, uh, you know, if you don't have one, the vintage one is pretty affordable. I think you can track one down for 20 25 bucks on eBay. Um, pretty cool robot horse, your laser guns, you know, double on the front and then one in the back. And I do have a missing piece on my vintage Stridor. I am missing the red tail. But otherwise, he is complete. And yeah, I just thought, you know, hey, Origins Fisto looks pretty cool in a vintage Strider. So I thought y'all might enjoy seeing that. Uh, Fisto, this is uh, totally not fair. I do not have uh, my Night Stalker horse. And you've totally got your... Strider horse. Um, I'm not really sure. Ah, who cares? That's right. Well, as we saw, if any of you saw Revelation, um, He-Man rode up on Strider in the beginning there, and then it was revealed to be Night Stalker, which was the bad guy version of the Strider horse. I do not have a Night Stalker horse in my vintage collection, so that is why Jitsu lost this fight. My name is Jitsu, not Jitsu. Now you be quiet. Well, all right, that's our Origins Fisto. Um, he's looking pretty snazzy here in his vintage Stridor, and he's surrounded by a bunch of uh, other vintage figures, you know? And it's just really kind of cool how well uh, Origins mashes up with these vintage figures here, you know? And uh, I think my next video, at least one uh, Lyric and I are gonna do, we're going to get into uh, Revelation or Masterverse Skeletor.
But also, I'd like to do a video of the vintage figures that have not been done yet on Origins. And uh, we'll kind of explore, you know, who should be next and why. Or who they have the parts for already and could do. So, until next time.